We've taken one standard and, and, and sort of swapped it out for another, or at the very least, we've pushed aside the biblical standard and we've put another standard right there next to it, which is the sort of partisan, political, you know, tribal standard of, you know, where do you stand on, on vaccines? Uh, who did you vote for in the last election? Um, I've been in a lot of church settings where this is not implicit, it's not, uh, a wink and a nod. It is spoken. It's verbalized. It, it's very much made clear from the pulpit that this is the standard, this is the litmus test to be a part of our church. And I think that's discouraging, obviously, for any number of reasons, but chief among them, Professor, as you well know, is that the church is called ultimately to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to all the nations and, and to, to make believers out of unbelievers and to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And it is incredibly difficult to do that when you have erected these barriers to entry in the church that have nothing to do with Jesus, that have nothing to do with the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm often asked, well, what does it mean to be an evangelical? And it's a very good question. Um, part of what it means to be an evangelical is the verb in that word, to evangelize, right? To evangelize to people who don't know Jesus. But how can we evangelize to people who don't know Jesus when we are telling them, hey, you know, Jesus is great and we really want you to know about him, but we can't really talk to you about him unless you vote the way we do, unless you, you know, uh, you follow the same Facebook page as we do, unless you're part of the same, you know, cultural tribe that we're a part of. If you check all those boxes, then great. We can have a conversation about how Jesus who was fully God and fully man came to earth to be the mediator between God and, and, and mankind. We can have that conversation, but first let's just make sure that you check all of these political boxes. That is an incredibly dangerous thing for the church to be doing, and it's now doing it at a scale that I'm not sure we've ever seen before.